You really can't ask for a better rookie season than Julio. I mean, the guy came up into the MLB and absolutely destroyed the game. My boy in his first rookie season was an all-star. Helped lead the Mariners to the first postseason appearance since 2001. Over 21 years at this point. And then at the end of the year in the offseason, took home an AL Rookie of the Year. Come on, dude. An absolutely electric first season from Julio. Now, for me, I want to see how the rest of his career is going to go. How many MVPs could the guy possibly win? Are the Mariners possibly going to trade him for whatever reason? Are they finally going to win a World Series with him on the team? Those are the questions that I have. And those are the questions that are going to get answered in this video. And I cannot wait for it. If you guys are excited, then be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe down below. We're on the road to 100K and I seriously appreciate it. And also tell me down below who else you guys want to see the career of. Let's go and get it going, baby. Let's get it. With the Mariners in this game, finish off 82 and 80. Terrible. What the heck? In the lineups, Julio finished off with a 235 with 19 home runs. These are the live rosters, by the way. So I'm with the show. We got to fix something here. But my boy did not finish out as a rookie of the year. Definitely. Post up a 2.5 war. Still not bad, but for a 94 overall at 21 years old. We got some problems here. But let's just hope that 2023 is going to be a lot better for us. Hey, let's also see if the Mariners actually do anything this offseason. If you guys are new, real quick, normally for my career sims, I like to keep everything just on auto. I like for Only the Show to do whatever the heck Only the Show is going to do, and I just sit back and kind of watch it and experience it. I might go in a couple times on big games, like if there's a game seven, I might play as Julio or something like that. But for any trades or free agent signings, I'm just keeping it up to Only the Show because I feel like that's the most random. I feel like if I just go out and make a bunch of trades and help rebuild this team into a powerhouse it's not gonna be realistic really at all even though this game thanks to the coaches back there is definitely not realistic at all but what are you gonna do it's the best we got so that's what we do here so let's go ahead and turn all this stuff to auto and there we are management trades for agency and contracts will they actually trade my boy julio i swear if they do someone's gonna get the right hook straight to heaven also for this game the only thing that i might do is because since he technically hasn't signed a contract yet even though in real life he did i might just go ahead and sign him up until 2030 when he's actually gonna become a free agent even though in real life the guy's contract is pretty weird where they can actually change his salary a bunch depending on how good he does but the earliest he can opt out if he really wanted to is 2030 when he's 29 years old as of right now that's about a seven year deal and i swear if i get julio to sign the akuna contract bro we gotta fire your agent immediately 90 over seven years honestly don't sign it but yo let's see what happens here we got aaron judge we got aaron nola all the guys right now in the free agency let's see if the Mariners go out and sign somebody big i hope they do but we'll see and come on dude straight at the gate the mets sign Aaron Judge. I'm over that. Let's get it 2023. Come on. First thing that we got to do in 2023, did Julio sign that contract? Bro, I swear to God, and he did. Of course he did. He's going to be making $13 million basically a year up until 2030 when he's going to become a free agent, and from there, we're going to see what the heck happens. Hopefully him and the young studs on this team can create a dynasty inside Seattle. I'm excited for it. The new additions this year is looking like Andrew McCutcheon and Trace Thompson. Okay. We also got Mitch back. That's pretty good. Anybody for the pitching? We got Clayton Kershaw. What the heck, dude? All all right, yeah, let's see how we do this year. We better do better than last. Hey, what the heck are we doing? It's July of 2023, and we got a big trade coming in. The Mariners trading away Eugenio for Scott and Evan Longoria. I mean, I like the bullpen piece, and I do love Evan Longoria, one of my favorites of all time, but Eugenio is actually not terrible at 11 million. I mean, I don't mind it. I know for a fact we'll be fine as we get Enrique. There we go. I know we'll be okay, but it's just weird that we get rid of a third baseman that we actually really like. I don't know. Either way, we're getting another outfielder. Okay, Oscar Mercado, and that's probably going to be about it, right? Is that going to be it? Yes, that is. Okay. We're chilling at 58 and 50. How the heck are we going to do for the rest of the year? And in 2023, we barely make it in the postseason once again. 83 and 79, we make it as a wild card team. How bad was the AL? How bad was everybody? If we made it in with what? Four games above 500? I got to see the standings. Bro, the Astros almost won 100. Everybody else in the AL West sucked, obviously. But yo, oh my God. Dude, what is the AL right now? The White Sox sucked. The Rangers, of course, sucked. The Rays were terrible. The Orioles were god-awful. The Angels were almost as bad as the Athletics. What is this? What about the NL? The Braves won 110. Okay, bro, relax, dude. The Brewers won 95. The Cardinals even make it in. The Dodgers, the Padres. Dude, this is insane. What is wrong with this game right now? Awards real quick. Did we get anything? And yeah, we didn't, of course. But that's it. Yo, what was that, dude? Julio, how'd you do for this year? The 96 overall? Not bad, baby. 23 bombs, 69 RBS, and a 270. A lot better than last year. What's that war looking like, though? A 5.7. There we go. Oh, still building, baby. I like that. Also, we still have Kyle Lewis. That's one thing I gotta fix. We'll go ahead and do that next year as we make it past the Yankees. Okay, I was surprised at that. ALDS versus guess who? The freaking Toronto Blue Jays. Let's please flip the script a little bit. I know the team beat him in real life in the wild card, but I gotta make it past the ALDS. So please, come on. George Kirby, start it all off, baby. With a loss. That's not how I want to start it all off. Logan, please come back a little bit. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Luis, there we go. Robbie Ray, come on, smoke him. And no, we're not gonna. Okay. 
Okay, 2-2. Two, two. George Kirby with the 11 or 12 ERA versus Kevin Gosman. And we got destroyed. All right. Well, hey, can't make it past the LDS once again. Who's winning this World Series? The Mets beat the Astros. What the heck? Let's hope we get some good free agents this year. That's really all I can hope for as the Cubs get Otani. What the heck? Hey, the first move of our offseason, we get a Med Rosario for shortstop. But I think that's actually going to be it. And it definitely is. Okay, 2024. We got two trades that we have to do because they happen technically in real life in this game. Doesn't update at all, basically. We got to send Kyle Lewis to the Diamondbacks and we also got to get Teoscar Hernandez. So there we are. Finally, that's a lot better. I feel good about this. This year that we got a Med Rosario. We got Mark Canna. Okay. And then of course, Teoscar Hernandez. Let's get it going, baby. Let's hope that Julio this year can become that AL MVP that I'm looking for. Hey, what are we doing here? White Sox giving us Yon Makata for Darren. I Okay. What are we doing? I don't even know if Jared Kellenick did that great because I really wasn't paying attention to Jared, but Matt Manning from the Tigers for Jared in a one for one. That's kind of nuts. What the heck are we doing? Please tell me Matt Manning's doing somewhat all right. And he is. Okay, that's fine. What about Jared though? Yeah, he just wasn't playing. That's basically what happened there. All right, that's fine. Are there any other trades that are going to be happening this season though? And no. Okay. And there we go, Seattle. 98 and 64, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We still made it in, of course, because the Astros run the AL West still. We make it in as a wild card team, but we're playing the Rays. How'd the team do though? We got some awards. Here we go. Please. Aquino, one, we have him on our team. And two, we only got the gold glove. That's crazy. George Kirby, no. Second place for the Cy Young. Has Julio gotten anything yet? For the outfield, he did. All right, he got a silver slugger. I don't know why that didn't pop up, but let's go. The guy hit a 283, 28 home runs, and 75 RBIs. Also had 37 doubles and five triples. Let's go, dude. What's that war looking like? A 6.5. Had a little bit more strikeouts this year. I'm a little bit worried about that. But hey, let's see how the heck we do versus the Rays real quick. Luis Castillo versus Shane McClanahan. Lost it by one. Of course, just like Seattle always does. Can we stop choking? First the Blue Jays, now the Rays. Come on. And this year for the World Series, the Yankees beat the Mets. Jesus, dude. And for agency, we got a bunch of studs. We got Correa, we got Bieber, we got AJ Minter, Eloy Jimenez. Guys, we have so much money. Please spend it just a little bit. Get us past the wild card of the ALDS. I beg you. That's all I want. I want to win this team their first World Series. I want it to happen, but it's not going to happen if we don't get some great guys here. We got such a good base, but please, God, build on it. How the heck do we do in the offseason? season. Monty Harrison and IKF for Andres Munoz. I hate this GM. Coach, one word. I'm sure you've heard it from me a thousand times. Why? Why, 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 why? IKF and Monty. That's so bad. Is there anything else? And no, there's nothing else. All right. Julio's still the best on the team by far. Ty France is actually doing very good. We still got Teoscar. We got Big Booty Cal looking great. Besides that though, the team. Oh wait, yeah, we do. We got Tyler O'Neal. All right, he's definitely new. Why is he on the bench? Put the guy out in right field, please God. Let's see how we do. 2025, we better show up and play. Come on. Guys, this has got to be the other we make it past the wild card, right? I mean, we're 21 and 7. It's got to be done. Back again, we finish off 94 and 68, taking on the Yankees this time in the wild card. Awards again, we got nobody. As Bregman wins back to back MVPs. Dude, the Astros are a straight cheat code. It's so dumb. And of course, Andres Munoz, reliever of the year. The year that we get rid of him. Thank you, coach. I appreciate it. That's so annoying, dude. We could have had him too. Why? For IKF and Monty Harrison. I hope it was worth it. Where the heck is IKF? KF, by the way. He's not even on the main team. Neither is Monty. I swear, if these guys are in AAA, I'm gonna freak out. And of course they are. Dude, I hate this game so bad. That's actually insane. Julio, please God, tell me he did good. And he did. Still, 29 home runs, 85 RBIs, and a 290. Still not good enough for the MVP, but still a fantastic quality season. The guy had 47 doubles this year with six triples, bro. That's actually nuts. Almost 30 home runs. My boy's still killing the game, and he got a 6.9 war. Guys, please beat the Yankees on the wild card. Come on. Let them choke could do it to themselves. And of course, we lost again. Dude, this can't be happening. Dude, this is one of the most insane free agent pools I've ever seen. Vladdy Jr., Kyle Tucker, Ozzy Albies, and Austin Riley. If we do not get at least somebody good, I don't know what this team's doing. Please just spend a little bit of money, Seattle. I know we've got so many great guys that we gotta pay, but I know you guys got some cash. Julio's bringing a bunch of fans, and that dude is selling jerseys. So get us, you know, Vladdy, is that too much to ask? Or Austin Riley? I would love a good third baseman. As Kyle Tucker goes to the race, please just get me Austin and Riley. That's really all I care about. Bo Bichette was also here, of course. Logan Webb, Ozzy Albies going to the Phillies. Oh, God. Vladdy Austin, that's really all I want as Andre sounds a huge contract. Okay. But show me Vladdy, show me Austin, show me somebody or not. Oh, my God. There's still a bunch of guys here and it's February. I know that happens in real life, but it's not supposed to happen for this game as Nico signs for 23 million and Austin Riley goes to the Mets. How the heck did we lose that? And bro, Vladdy signed for 18.7 and he goes to the Cardinals. How did we not outbid them? And we got legitimately no Buddy. Oh boy. Well, I'm sorry they're doing this to you, bro. I'm so sorry. 2026. Let's see how we do. 569 seconds later.
later. Dog, what is this? 81 and 81. Julio, I'm sorry we're wasting your best years. Awards, who got it? Aquino again for the gold glove. This is so cursed. Brian Reynolds in the Angels uniform, winning the MVP. Beating out Seiya Suzuki and Mike Trout. Oh my God. Julio, though, still 97. 29 home runs, 88 RBIs, and a 300. The guy stayed consistent. Still have 47 doubles, by the way, with seven triples on the year at 29 home runs. Bro, he's staying literally the exact same player. This year at a 7.5 war, almost on the MVP level. It's just too bad that Brian Reynolds apparently is way better. Let's get to the offseason and hope that something somehow changes as the Twins beat the Rockies. We let the Twins and the Rockies beat us to the World Series. That's so bad. Hey, here we go. Finally, we're getting somebody. Lucas Sims, it's not bad. He only had 16 innings last year, which does make me a little nervous, but he's better for the bullpen, so we'll take him. Offense for 2027, looking good. Honestly, it is looking good. The Oscar, by the way, is an 80 overall now. I mean, he's only 34. I don't know how the heck he went down so much, but that's going to be the show right there. But still, Tyler O'Neill, Young Makata, everybody looks good. Julio, still a 97. The guy's not budged. And the rotation's still looking good. We got Emerson Hancock up here now. Let's hope that this year we can get above 500. Come on. Hey, no way. We get Gene Segura back in the Mariners. Are you serious? That's the one trade that we make in 2027. Yeah, that is. Oh my God. Okay. We're doing good so far. So let's get to the postseason and please get past the wild card game. I feel nuts for just saying it. It should have happened by this point. Oh my God. Hey, this year we somehow finish off the best that we've ever done. 99 and 63. And we're taking on the winner of the wild card game now. Thank goodness. Finally, something changed. Awards. Lucas Sims for the delivery man of the year. And Cy Young corner, George Kirby. Jesus, dude. All right. Hey, Julio, let's go ahead and guess it real quick as he's a 94. Uh-oh. I'm guessing 285 with 25 home runs and 17 home runs with a 260. Oh, God, bro. You're only 26. We should not be seeing the attributes getting lowered this bad at 26. Hey, I will say, even though he was on a down year, he still had 50 doubles. Like, what the heck? Definitely led the league in that. His war is a 4.3. Still very, very good, but still not on that MVP type level. I'm still looking for him to win at least two MVPs. That's what I was hoping for. The World Series wins are still up in the air. Let's see what happens. Versus Texas right now. George Curry versus Carlos Rodon for game one. Plus that one by two. Emerson Hancock versus Aaron Savali. There we go. One that one one. Luis Castillo versus Jack Leiter. Okay. Logan Gilbert versus Corbin Martin. Dude, come on. George Kirby, Carlos Rodon. Come on, baby. Dude, how does this keep happening? Doug, can we please stop this? This is so dumb. We lost to the Rangers. Honestly, Julio, it might be better if we just leave. Phillies have defeated the Rangers. Oh my God. Julio, it might be the curtain call, my boy. I'm not even gonna lie. It might be it. I mean, we might be losing out on Kirby. Might be losing out on Logan Gilbert. Dog, oh, this really ain't it. I love what the Mariners are putting together, but they did not help us at all as, oh my God. Adley, Bobby Witt, Alec Manoa, and Spencer Strider. That is ridiculous. As the Astros, of course, get Alec Manoa. The Dodgers get Adley. Dude, this is what's happening. Seems like the Astros that have been good for a long, long time. Seems like the Dodgers. I know they have more money, but they're putting their money to use in good ways. We're not. We're holding all that cash for whatever reason. Even though we're doing very, very good and getting to the postseason some years, we're not getting far at all. We're getting smacked in the ALDS if we even make it there. And now we're trading Lucas Sims, the delivery man of the year, to the Astros for nobody. That's great. That's freaking so good. Julio, please, God, do not sign with this team. This ain't the same Mariners, or maybe it is, and I was just blind. For my sanity, please, God, if you do not do good, get out of here. Hey, another trade that we're sending to the Astros for whatever reason, but Tyler O'Neill for two prospects. This might be some PSYOP type stuff. Even though he's only got a year left on his contract, we might be breaking the Astros bank for a little bit. This might be good because we've kind of punted this season away, at least from what it looks like. 48 and 48 behind the Angels. That's how you know it's bad. Hey, by some miracle, we finish off 92 and 70. Let's go. And this year, taking on the Royals in the wild card. If we lose the Royals, I don't know what I'm going to do, to be honest. Awards real quick. Aquino, gold glove. That's so bad. Hey, time for France, though, finally. We get an MVP. I was hoping it'd be Julio, but Ty France, my boy. There we go. He also gets the Silver Slugger and the Triple Crown. Dude, craziness. Oh my God, 50 bombs and a 320. Julio, how'd you do, though? He's a 90 overall. Bro, how is this happening? He's only got seven years of LB service. How is he going down this bad? Minus 10 on the power. That's so, like, dude, this game sucks. 39 doubles, three triples, 25 home runs, 83 RBIs. What's that war looking like? Maybe a 6.4. So we 
we did come back quite a bit, but he's still losing attribute points, which makes zero sense. That's always fun. Emerson Hancock versus Asa Lacey in the wild card game, and we finally won a wild card game. Now, we gotta face the Astros, who we basically gave all our good players to. Carlos Cabrera versus Alec Manella. Lost that one by one. Of course, Luis Castillo versus Edward. Won that beautiful. Kyle Freeland versus Zach Gallen. Okay. Won that one somehow. Emerson Hancock versus Taj Bradley. Oh my God, we did it. Yo, screw you, coach. We finally beat you, stupid. Take on the raising on the ALCS. Carlos versus Shane McClanahan. Won that one. Beautiful. Emerson Hancock versus Shane Boz. Okay. Luis Castillo versus Max Mayer. They have Max? Doesn't matter. Okay. Carlos versus Wilmer, Wilmer Flores. Dude, there's no shot. That's got to be a prospect that just happens to have the same name. Okay. Yeah, it is. Jesus, dude. I mean, it's 2028, but I thought I was going crazy. Carlos versus Wilmer. Lost that like crazy. Kyle Freeland versus Shane McClanahan. Oh my God. How are we beating Shane? Emerson versus Boz. Game seven. Here we go. I want to go in for this one, but I also want to save the World Series appearances to make them super special. So Cabrera, please get us there. Let's go, dude. We're finally making it to the World Series versus the Dodgers, of course. But yo, thank God. All right, Luis Castillo versus Spencer Strider. Lost that one like crazy. Okay, Emerson Hancock versus Walker Bueller. Won that. Oh my God. Carlos versus Nick Lodolo. Oh my God. Kyle Freeland, come on. Dude, he's a go. I got to go in. Julio, how you doing? He's doing great. Let's go. Let's lead this thing off. Game five, baby. This is the time. Leading off the World Series as we roll it to, I think that's Rafael Devers. Not the best start, but yo, if my dude Julio Rodriguez can win at least a World Series and an MVP before this video ends, I will buy a 2023 Julio jersey. I need the guy to get the MVP. So come on, Julio. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's a nice pitch, but still way too early. What is this? We still get on first base. Okay, but yo, why am I so early? But bottom of the fourth, 0-0. Zero, zero. Mookie Betts just laced one to right field. So we're good. And just like that, now we're not good. Okay, a one. Bottom of the fifth, runners in the corners. Please, God, just hit this up in the air enough to where I can go catch it. Julio, get there, and we're good. Oh, my God. All right, Julio, it's time. Versus Walker Bueller. He's got 50 pitches through six. This is so bad. Guy on first base, no outs. That's a beautiful pitch, and it's staying up too much. Oh, my God. I'm still early. I guess I'll just wait like two seconds longer than I need to. Top of the ninth, Walker Bueller is still out here destroying us. We're leading it off, and that's a beautiful pitch. Again, we are just barely early, but that's not going to matter. That's still a flout to left. Bro, where did all of our pop go? Julio really did lose all of his power. It's ridiculous. I don't know what happened. Hey, super close game. We barely lost it. We're going in again. We have to. This time we're going to be at home, so I'm excited for it. Hey, this feels a lot better. Top of the first, Chris Bryant hitting an absolute liner straight to me. There we go. Let's go in the hit, boys. All right, good thing is we got Walker Buehler off of the mound. Bad news, though. We got Spencer Strider as we barely lined that one to right field. Dude, these are good pitches that we normally square up and hit in the gaps. Why? Why is it just going straight to the people? Like, what is happening with this? Come on, Julio. I'm power swinging this. I believe that's a ball for sure. Okay, we're good. I'm still going to power swing. I got to use whatever power we have left in our arms and just try to get it out of the stadium because that's the only hope. But apparently, every single ball that we square up is going to be getting vacuumed up by the Dodgers defense. All right, here we are. Bottom of the fourth, 1-1 in the World Series. We got a guy on first. This is our time, baby. This is our time. That's still a great pitch. Is that going to be good enough? Oh my God, it is. There we go. That carried out, really? I thought for sure that was going to left field. We hit that 360 with 96 on the velocity. Still the biggest home run of his career, but yo, that couldn't have been weirder. That was up in the zone completely. Almost missed it with the PCI, and we barely get it out of there. I mean, look at that should not have been a home run, but hey, we'll take it, baby. Now, top of the seventh coming off the home run. We're winning six to one. Dude, that got the team fired up. I'm so hyped for that. This is the time, dude. This is the freaking time. Bottom of the eighth, one out. David Yoshida up, and that's gonna go to left field again that makes more sense but yo this might be the time we get our ring this might be it and it is baby let's go somehow this year the year that i was complaining about the most is the year that we win the world series that just makes the most sense but let's go baby leo gets his first ring of the video and we got to go for at least one more before the guy retires we finish up the postseason with a 351 with three home runs and 11 rbis i'm also gonna move julio down a little bit in the lineup awards real quick world series mvp going to julio let's go and the playoff mvp going to king no, we did it, baby. We did it. Let's get it. All right, offseason time. Here we are. We still got one more year of Julio being on the team before he hits free agency. Let's hope it's going to be electric as Ahmed Rosario and Yon Makata for Cattell Marte. I don't mind it. I know Cattell's older and he's about to lose all his attribute points, but I don't mind it. Let's go, Cattell. Welcome back. Let's see what else we could do this offseason. There we go, Jose. Now we're spending money as Julio's probably about to leave. Oh my God, we also get Henry Davis. Are you kidding me? And we get Josh Hader. Now the Mariners are making moves. We win a World Series and we keep building. 
I do like that. But we couldn't have been doing that. Oh my God. Marte now. Dude, we get him back. Why now out of everything? I'm happy that we're doing it. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just so confused. On the years that we had Julio doing amazing and we did nothing. But now we're spending like $200 million in player salaries on pretty much the last year of Julio Rodriguez's contract. At least I believe. And never mind. Okay. He signed an extension. I did not sign off on that. But he's going to be staying with the M's a little bit longer. All right. Let's see if we can continue this. The team looks a lot better. So, hey, let's get it going. Let's see if we can run this thing back in 2029. Back up this year, 93 and 69, making it in as a wild card team. Once again, facing the Royals. But how the heck did our new team do? Julio is an 86 overall. Oh, God. Like, legitimately, he's losing all of his power. Why is he losing everything? He's only in his eighth MLB season. Bro, he's still got, like, possibly 12 more in him. This is so annoying. This game, bro. Oh, my God. I've also said I'm back in the lineup, but it didn't really do much because they immediately moved him back up. I tried my best to help. Awards, we got nothing. All right, here we go. Let's get it going. Emerson Hancock versus Asa Lacey. And we got destroyed. Didn't even score a run. All right. Back to the same old Mariners. Could not go back to back after spending so much money as the Yankees beat the Brewers in 2029. Oh, boy. Let's go back and get to the new decade. Oh, no. Dude, why are we always trading our guys in the AL West? I don't get it. Ty France is now gone to the Rangers for Aaron Savali and Jake McCarthy. At least get a prospect in that deal. What are we doing? And this year just goes to a wash. God dang it. 84 and 78. 2030, not the best way to start it as we get zero awards. Okay. And then lineups, how we looking? Julio's in 83 overall. This might be a quicker end than I thought. We got Anthony Volpe. When did we get him? There has been no notification at all that we got Anthony Volpe. But still, Julio, the main focus of this video is dying, literally. I mean, his power numbers have been going down every single year with at least minus fives, at the very least. Only nine years in the MLB. This is what's happening. By the way, still has well over $100 million left on that contract. So enjoy that, Mariners. I'm sorry, Elmer, the show legitimately screwed you over so bad as the Rays beat the Pirates. There we go, baby. For the trades this year, we got Josh Naylor, okay, from the Pirates. And we also got Josiah Gray and Nick Madrigal. Did we get anybody in free agency? Because right now we're third overall, which is the highest we've ever been. Rotation, oh my God. All right, yeah, Alexi, what is happening, dude? We signed him from the Pirates. So we basically just stole a stud from the Pirates. Hey, I'm down. Let's keep this thing going. And please, God, Julio, don't die out there. I know I'm basically saying it for no reason, but dude, I've put the guy in the weight room for the past couple years, but it's still not helping. I mean, he's already minus ones across the board. He just barely started the year. Okay. The game's got it out for him. That's all I could say. Thank God the Mariners are back in 2031, finishing 88 and 76. Take on the Angels for the first time. There we go. Any awards? No awards. Julio, how are you? 77 overall. Guys, he's done. He's literally done. I mean, look at this. I mean, dude, what is wrong? 10 years. That's it. That's all you can give me. At least we have everybody else here to help us, but dude, they literally killed him. I don't know what to tell you guys. Carlos versus Mackenzie Gore, and there we go. One that one. Now we're facing the Rangers. Let's go. Come on, boys. Please win this as we sweep them. Okay. Versus the Twins now, please. There we go. 2-2. Two, two. Okay, 2-3. Two, Brian Rodriguez. I don't know who the heck you are, but come on. Oh my God. 4 nothing. Guillermo Herrera versus Andy. Oh my God. We're going to the World Series again. As you guys can probably tell from the da na na da na na and with the lack of face cam, yeah, it completely uh, glitched out so there's kind of a big problem there the good thing is julio is basically already dead because this game sucks so bad so i'm gonna stay with you guys and voice over and narrate some of the key parts because again we just made it to the world series it sucks that for julio's second world series we ended up having some you know technical problems and all that kind of crap but hey let's see if we can win his second world series before the guy inevitably collapses in the world series we were down two three and we ended up coming back to game seven and of course you guys already know your boy had to play game seven it's game seven of the world series julio's possible second ring i had to do it. So we started out game seven in Washington. We started out pretty decent with a super hard hit ground ball, but of course there's a Dyson vacuum over at shortstop we were out pretty quick. After that, the pitcher left a meatball all the way up in the zone, and we were able to get on base for the first time in game seven. After that, top of the fifth, there is a guy at second base right now with one out, and Julio is going to smack the ball at the center, but it's gonna stay up for a little too long. We end up moving the guy over to third base, though, so that's actually gonna be very, very good for us. But unfortunately, the Mariners' offense, besides Julio, sucks so bad, and we didn't end up scoring a run off of it. After that, we're back in the top of the seventh with another guy at second base with only one out and the opportunity to finally take the lead. Oh my God. It's still 0-0. We end up getting to an insane 3-2 count. So you best believe I'm clutching my cheeks and we end up getting the single. Beautiful. We end up getting that one RBI of the game basically. But unfortunately, you guys are about to see what happens. 
Dude, no. How is Julio's career gonna get worse? How did that happen, dude? How? Who the heck did it? Maybe the reason why Julio's dying out there is because he's put this team on his back for too long. Frank Link with the longest beard of all time gave it up. Oh my God, dude. We just needed three out. We would have won the World Series. We had 10 hits and Julio with two RBIs going three for five. 2032, how we looking? Julio is on the bench. Guys, I think that's the end of his career right there. I'm not gonna lie. If he goes to like a 74, I'm just gonna go until the end of his career and see how the heck he's doing because, dude, that's so sad. The start of 2035 and Julio did not find a team at all. So yeah, that's the end. Let's go until he's done. And that was very fast. Julio is now gone in 2035 and, dude, 11 years on the service and that's it. The end of his career, though, he played 1,467 games, had almost 6,000 at-bats, had 1,622 hits, had 413 doubles, had 58 triples, 229 home runs, 770 RBIs, 470 walks. The guy hit a 278 for batting average, hit a 336 OBP and a 487 slugging with an 823 OPS. Not to mention the war, had a 55.2 career war. Still a very, very good career, just cut short by some garbage. I hate to see it. And no, he didn't make it in. Alex Bregman is the guy that made it into the Hall of Fame. So congratulations. But Julio just goes on into the abyss. That is crazy. I hope you guys still enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave a like on it and subscribe down below. And also comment down below who else you guys want to see for the career sim.